Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0171 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0171 code? Well, it's a fuel system lean and quite often it'll say bank one. It'll say something like fuel system two lean bank one. And bank one is always aside with the number one cylinder. And that only matters if you have like a V6 or V8. If you just have a little four cylinder, then it's not gonna matter. But a V6 or V8, you'd find the number one cylinder, number one spark plug. And that would be the side that it's having the problem on. And what it means by too lean is that the is that it's not getting enough gas. And when it's not getting enough gas, that could be caused by a few things. Well, number one, it could be a sensor is just throwing the computer off and what it thinks it should be sending in gas at. But the first thing you'd want to check with the too lean would be the gas delivery system. So this means like the fuel pump or the fuel filter. So one of the first things to check would be the fuel pump and be sure that it's working and that it's sending out the right pressure. There is pressure tests that you could do on these. This is very commonly, you know, a mechanic taking a mechanic shop, they, the first thing they probably check would be check the pressure and be sure the pressure on the fuel rail is, is accurate and that it's getting the right fuel pressure. If not, then they'll know there's a problem with the fuel delivery. Something along the lines of a fuel filter, you know, that it might be plugged up. That'd probably be one of the first things to go just swap out. They're low cost parts and they need to be changed out regularly anyway. So you could just go and check out this fuel filter and be sure it's not clogged up and that fuel is getting through. You know, keep in mind that they could, the fuel pump might be getting weak or, or something along these lines. Something could be even possibly clogging it up where the intake comes in or something along these lines. And if you want to make sure you don't want to mess around with all these other components before you replace them, you can just go get a loaner at like an auto parts store, get a fuel pressure tester and just go onto the rail. And every engine is going to have a little bit different pressure on what it should be running at. So you have to Google that for your, for that particular Dodge and engine. And you would just put this on the fuel rail and you would check out the pressure coming in. And if it's not at the correct level, then you would know it would be like the fuel pump or the fuel filter. And if the fuel pressure all tests good, or if you'd replace the fuel pump and the fuel filter, and so you know that's good, then you could go along, you could start checking out the, the fuel injectors on bank one. And this could be done different ways. You could go through, you could test them, you could test, test the voltage too, going in there, make sure the wiring's all good. Or you could go through and replace them all. Some people will come through and they'll just buy one new one and just go down the rail with it until they see if the problem goes away one by one on each fuel injector on that side. You know, there's different techniques you could do this, but the next thing would be to check out these fuel injectors. As long as you know it's got good fuel pressure up on that fuel rail, then it could be possibly a bad fuel injector. And so once you know the fuel is all good, you got good fuel pressure, you got the, it's not an injector that's gone bad, then, you know, it could possibly be a sensor. And a common one that causes issues is the mass airflow sensor, or the MAF sensor. And what this does is it reads the oxygen coming in to the engine and reports back to the onboard computer how much is coming in. And if this gets dirty or messed up, then it can throw off the air fuel gas ratio going on and it can give out some air codes like this. So this is located right after the air intake, after the air intake filter. It'll just be a large sensor right on the air intake hose. And quite commonly, these just get dirty. They just need to be cleaned up. They can't go bad. Or, you know, it could be in the wiring too. Keep that in mind. Bad wiring could cause issues. But quite commonly, they just get dirty. They, they got MAF air flow sensor cleaner and they just need to be cleaned up and put back in. But that would be the next thing to, to keep an eye out is that it could be the mass airflow sensor. So be sure to check that out. And so that's basically it. Those are the main things. If you do get this code, you know, it, it can be a little bit troublesome sometimes. But quite, but the first thing you want to do is you want to be sure you got good fuel pressure on that fuel rail and be sure it's not a fuel injector be sure it's not a sensor and if you do go through all those and it doesn't fix the issue then you could start going through check out the oxygen sensors you know test those or if the vehicle just has an ignition misfire you know something along the lines of, as a bad coil pack or something along these lines but that's a basic overview of what you could do if you do have a dodge with the p0171 code and how you can go about fixing it if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.